on uh, Kristen? Uh, she practiced a little bit yesterday for the first time. Uh, we'll see how she feels. Um, we're hoping she's going to play. Uh, she looked okay. I mean, she wants to play. I um, thought she was pretty comfortable. I haven't seen her yet. Uh, she was going to go have another treatment today, so um, I'll, I'll know probably about a half an hour what her situation is. But she did practice yesterday for the first time. Is it tough calling a competitor like that? Like, hey, we got to hold you and rest you? Yeah, she, she really she's frustrated. Obviously, uh, you know, you're coming off a good year and you're having all this preseason stuff going on. And she wants to help her team and she knows how important she is. So, But it's early and, uh, you know, we, we, we got to be smart about it. And uh, I think because it happened to her this summer and she knew what she had to do to get back, uh, no pun intended, uh, you know, get back on the court. So. Uh, she's a smart kid. She gets it. So the good news is if, you know, it, it, it's going to sh shorten some things for her maybe this week. But after that, I think she'll be fine. Do you play? I mean, if she can play, she plays. Or do you look at the schedule and say, hey, if we get – she could have an extra 10 days or something? Yeah, we, we have discussed that. Um, she really, really wants to play. But, yeah, we, you know, we play Thursday, we play Sunday, then we don't play again for, for the 19th. So, yeah, that, that has been discussed at length. Uh, I think the decision – was could she do anything yesterday and today? And when they decided yes, they wanted to see her do it. So um, we definitely aren't going to push it at all. Uh, we're going to err on the same side. But uh, she really, really feels like she can play. And we'll, go, we'll let her go through practice today. And if she feels good again, then I'm, I'm sure she'll get a few minutes. Probably have a minute's restriction. Yeah, yeah. Think, she'll though. be on a pitch count yeah, yeah. for sure. So uh, uh, that's the hard part, too. Is, you know, leave her in there, but she really, really wants to play, and I think she just feels like, you know, if she can go out there and play a little bit, that would be good for her. She wants to get back out there, you know, when you haven't done anything for two weeks, and, you know, it, 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 like any, any player, I mean, I don't, you know, as coaches and medical staff, you're like, oh, you got time, but players only have so many games they get to play, and especially here, and, and so uh, any, any opportunity you miss, you don't get that back, and it's frustrating for a kid, so... Uh, hopefully we can get her out there tomorrow because uh, she really wants to play. You're starting your 25th season. I know you guys already had your exhibition game, but does this feel any different coming into this one for tomorrow? No, no, no. it really doesn't. <laughs> I mean, every every year it's exciting. I mean, this is a fun time of year. You watch, oh, you know, the guys game last night. You watch those games on TV, and now you're checking basketball scores, not just you know waiting for the next football game. So it's a, it's a fun, it's a really fun time of year because every team right now for the most part. Uh, they're optimistic, you know, if things go well and, and all that kind of stuff. But, no, it's, it's fun. I think if it does get old or boring or mundane or whatever, then you shouldn't be doing it. And that's not fair to the kids or to the, to the program. So, no, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, you're just excited to see what this group can do. Because every, every season is a different – that's the great thing about college sports is every year is different. People leave, graduate, transfer – Whatever, uh, it's a whole new chapter. It's, it's a very, very long book that you write, and every season is a different chapter. And, and uh, certainly last year, the chapter was a long one and a good one. And uh, we just hope this year uh, you can have some good things as well. Have you guys been working on it the week since uh, the exhibition? A, a lot of, a lot of um, our stuff. I mean, I think the hard part is, is, you know, when you play that first game, you really don't know. I mean, we're looking at video from last year. And you're, you're looking at stats from last year, so it's a lot of special situations, a lot of different combinations of lineups. Obviously, you know, we, Kristen didn't practice. We sat Ashley Jones out for four days because her ankle was a little sore. So we got a lot of different combinations of that, but it, it's a lot of, you know, um, really stuff for us, you know, I guess to sell. Because really, after tomorrow, it's probably the last time for a while that you can do that because it's always the next game prep. So it's been a lot of stuff that we're doing, uh, adding little things here and there, but uh, trying to clean up as much as we can. But uh, a lot of the a lot of the situational stuff, any game, you know, up three, down three, last possession kind of stuff that you want to work on and see who can handle that. That's that's a big piece of leading into the start of the season for us. I know it's going to be different every game, but are we going to see Maggie tomorrow night as much as we did last game, or is it kind of the um, depend on it'll depend, game. but yeah, she go. Obviously, she's a she's a part of the regular rotation. Um, she won't start the game. Ray will start at point guard, um, but Maggie will play. Jade will play. Um, 
you know, I, I think you'll see a lot of the same people. Obviously, hopefully, you'll see Kristen, uh, who we didn't see the last time. But other than that, I think I don't, I don't anticipate any major rotational changes. Obviously, the game dictates that, and, and you go into the game thinking kids are going to play so many minutes, and there's early foul trouble or someone can't play. I mean, you just got to go with the flow there. But we've actually, I mean, we've practiced everyone. I mean, every. I don't know. If there's a team in the country that that you know has had many is this many kids getting quality practice reps which is could be good or bad depending on how you look at it you know we don't have an identified rotation which could be shaky but everyone's getting a chance and and because we haven't had everyone together one time for practice um you kind of kind of but which in a weird way isn't awful either other kids are getting opportunities and so we take it just like i told them you know, if ashley can't practice as well she's in foul trouble so what do we do and, so we just try and make practice as game-like as we can because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, where do you see it from Bray right now? Like, where is she doing well? And, like, where are some, like, what's an area that she needs to improve? Well, I, I really I, – I think Bray's had – the last two days of practice, maybe the best two days of practice she's had since she's been here. Um, you know, we've had extensive talks with her and a lot of those kids about we need someone to step into that role. And, and I think she understands as a junior. She knows, she knows the system. She has a very high basketball IQ. Her conditioning has got to improve. Uh, her offensive efficiency has got to improve a little bit. Uh, her shot has not been what I think it's capable of. But, you know, defensively and offensively, she has a, 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 a overall grasp of the system better than the other kids. And that, you know, that, that means a lot. And I think, again, she, she's a junior that's kind of sat there. And, I mean, her and Kristen and Maddie are good buddies. And so I'm sure she's like, well, I want to be in with those other two as well. So she's had a good couple days and hopefully that progress will continue. Uh, Maggie and Ashley are obviously two very like or were two very highly sought after high school prospects mm -hmm. from uh, Iowa. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to the program to have such uh, good in-state talent and like what challenges that present when you have other solid programs in the state? Um, well I think first of all you, you have four for a small state you have four division one teams that are all really good. Uh, have, have very accomplished programs and recruit very well. Um, we are Iowa State University, so there's not enough players to fill the roster with Iowa kids, but you want to, you know, our goal is always to recruit the best players in our state first and foremost. I think it is important. It's important to the fans. It's important to, to how you go about doing your business. Obviously, there's, there's kids that go to every program in the state, and that, that's a good thing. I, I hope all the kids in our state stay home. I really do. I, I really mean that. I think it'd be great for the state, the growth of the state, the growth of attendance, anything you can do to promote the programs, and that part of that is getting in-state kids. And obviously Maggie and Ashley are, are high-quality people from our state that grew up in, in, in an environment where people know their name. And um, uh, So hopefully that will continue. But uh, they've been a big piece of our team already, and I think they both are going to do very, very well here.